And questions for Jason in person, please. Uh, how frustrating is it when it seems like guys don't know quite how you're going to play every game? It seemed like the nights where you got to in Portland two days off, chance to be fresh, then play, get, get dominated last night. And you don't have Paul George. You come out, play a good first quarter, then the second quarter. How frustrating is that when it just seems like you? Guys aren't sure how you're gonna come out and approach the game. Uh yeah, I guess it's frustrating. But I think uh, I think we should know how we're gonna come up and you know more often. I mean, I think sometimes we dig ourselves in a hole and then as you can see, halfway through the third and the fourth quarter, uh, we play a lot faster. Uh, we lock in defensively, we do what we need to do. And, and by then, you know, a couple of the guys on our team, they're feeling good about themselves. So some of those possessions where we flying around, we're doing all the right things, but we get an unlucky bounce and you know, they get a, a shot to go in. It's it just, I think that's just a product of, you know, it being too easy in the first half. So I think more often than not trying to put those, you know, that last quarter and a half, trying to stretch that out for, you know, longer stretches throughout the game, you know, will, will help us and be more ben beneficial um, throughout. Well, 23 turnovers for you guys tonight, uh, you had six, what is there, was that just you guys mistakes or was there defensive pressure at all? Back then? Yeah, I think uh, myself included, you know, uh, I think that's on us, you know, we got to be, uh, tougher and take care of the ball. Um, you know, I think in a lot of areas we beat ourselves and, and especially in that area, they obviously they play well, they get shots, but, uh, you know, 23 turnovers, that's just, that's unacceptable. Jason, are you feeling some mental fatigue? Um, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't think so, but I can't, I can't speak for everybody. Um, I mean, it's a long season. You know, some days are better than others. Um, and I think that's just like, I'm sure you guys have better work days than some other days. And whatever factors into that, you know, this is our job and every day isn't perfect. So I'm sure, you know, people have different jobs could probably relate that. You know, some days it's just like, ah, and you know, some days you feel better about yourself. What did Spark the turnaround in the third quarter? Um, I don't know. Realizing we didn't have that much time left, and you know, we just had had to figure it out. Uh, we start picking up the pressure and getting some turnovers, um, speeding them up, and you know that led to us getting stops and playing fast. It's important to remind yourself what happens when you play that way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. But Jason, it seemed like there were multiple times in the game where you guys looked like you were down and out, but came back. Um, I guess what does that kind of say about the resiliency um, in the second half? Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it looked like, but, um, you know, I, myself and the guys that was on the floor, you know, we always felt like we had a chance. Um, you know, to the, the buzzer go up. Jason, you talked about earlier, guys getting confidence. Grant in Boston, his career high was 10 points. He scores 18 in the second. Is that a defensive slippage? Is that just a dude getting hot? I mean, how does that happen when, you know, they don't have Paul George, but they, this guy steps up and seems to just be together? Um, yeah, I think sometimes people, uh, you know, they don't necessarily play basketball. They think that, like, you know, when their best player is out, that it, it should be an easy win. But I think a lot of times, I think that's when, um, you know, you really got to focus and, and, and lock in because, you know, guys that, you know, if, if Paul George was playing, he wouldn't have, he probably wouldn't have played that many minutes or gotten that opportunity. And on any given night, um, you know, when certain guys are out and, other guys get their number called, 
uh, you know, it, it, tends, it, it can be nights like this where, you know, they get that chance and, uh, you know, you got to play with what guys are capable of and not necessarily what they average or what their career high is. Um, and knowing that certain guys um, just don't get that opportunity. But, you know, they make the most out of what they do and we got to be more mindful of, you know, games and situations like that. Is it a little frustrating when you guys do play that fourth quarter, the shutdown defense, they're, they're, they can barely get the ball at the court at times, and you kind of don't want to realize why you can't, guys can't play like that all the time? Uh, is it frustrating? Yeah. Um, yeah, it, yeah, it is frustrating. And uh, part of it, I guess, human nature um, and tendencies and habits um, and I guess how you approach certain things and uh, I think the easy answer is just we got to be better got to be better at that and I think you guys know we know that we play like we did in the fourth quarter you know we play like that the whole game that the outcome probably would have been different um, it's one thing to say it's one thing to know it and it's a, it's a different um, it's a difference going out there and doing it. Um, and I think that's on myself and all of us to just try to be more complete throughout 48 minutes. Jason, got a Zoom question here from John Corrales, please. I mean, this falls along the same line of what you were just saying, but you, you, know, you brought up the analogy of everybody has bad days, which is absolutely true. Um, but when people's bad days all start to look the same, then the perception is that this is kind of just who you are and it's, it's, it's part of the habit. So, so what to you makes it this a one of a bad, like a bad day versus something that's just in the team's nature? Um, I think, when, I think when Abby asked the question, she said it was, it, you know, guys are mentally fatigued. Uh, and I don't know if she, was that just about today or recently? I feel like recently, on recently, this trip a little bit. On this trip. Um, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, uh, but the Utah game, we played really well. They hit 28 threes, 29 threes. Uh, we scored more than enough points. Uh, we fought to the end. Uh, long travel day, back to back, beat Portland. Obviously, we had a few days off and uh, should have been more beat, should have got up a little bit more for the Lakers and Celtics game. We didn't and uh, came out today, played a good half of basketball and not two halves. So I think recently, to today and yesterday, uh, I guess they can kind of fall under the same, however you want to phrase it. I don't think it, I don't think that necessarily applies to the Utah and Portland game. I think, you know, we played really well. We won one, the other one came down to the wire and, uh, you know, we felt good about ourselves afterwards. I mean, there's no moral victories out here, but, uh, you know, it's been too subpar you know, I guess games you could call it. Um, I think three, three has to be a bad habit. So we got to bounce back and play better Friday. And then, uh, you know, we can revisit this question. We'll wrap it up right there. Thank you, Jason.